Why do children misbehave? There are actually four goals of children's misbehavior. Attention, power, revenge, and proving inadequacy. Throughout this video, I'll show you ways to combat these four goals of misbehavior. We all know children misbehave. It's just a part of being a kid. They may throw a tantrum in the store, refuse to put their shoes on for school, or snake extra time on their video games. However they choose to cause you extra stress and worry. Parents are aware, at some point in their development, children will act up. The question is why? What do children gain from their naughty acts? Besides lectures, time out, privilege restrictions, mm -hmm. children have goals behind their misbehaviors. They are actually four potential goals of misbehavior in children. First, we have attention. These children want to be noticed, even if for negative reasons. They will be the class clowns or the show-offs, causing parents to feel annoyed. They may temporarily stop their behaviors when someone is paying attention to them, actively playing with them, engaging with them in activities, but the moment the spotlight is on to someone or something else, it's showtime. The best way to eliminate the behaviors is to pay attention to your child. Schedule daily or weekly play dates. Recognize their achievements. Praise and encourage their positive efforts. Power kids come next. These are the children wanting to control everything. They may boss around their friends, argue with adults, and lie to get their way, thus angering you. When a limit or consequence is set, then they feel it's time to up the ante. And we need to give these kids limited choices. Do you want to wear the blue shirt or the green shirt today? Make a ritual out of it. Let them choose dinner every Friday night. Have fun. Let them walk to the car like an elephant or a monkey. Assign them a special job. Have older ones read to younger ones. Our third goal of misbehavior is revenge. Because they feel they have been harmed or wronged in some way, and some may have valid reasons, they push people away. These type of kids may be sore losers in gym, bullies on the playground, and aggressive at home. They figuratively and literally hurt people. While it's tough to love these kids, that is exactly what they need. Don't take their actions personally. Listen without blame or judgment. Apologize when you make a mistake. Write them special notes in their lunchbox or tell stories with them as the hero or heroine. Finally, we have the goal of proving inadequacy. Children with this goal feel they can't do anything right. So why should they even try? Parents of these kids feel discouraged and helpless. Constant encouragement will help these kiddos. Think about the little engine that could. Yes, you can. You are getting so much better. Point out their successes no matter how small, and celebrate them. Allow them to make mistakes and know it's going to be okay in the end. Children will if they can. A quote from Dr. Ross Green. You can guide them and provide them a path to positive behaviors. No matter what their goal is or how bad the behavior, children deserve to be loved and valued. Thanks for watching. Please sign up for my mailing list. The link is below in the comments. And if you want weekly parenting tips such as this one, Subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.